What if I told you that there could theoretically be a being so powerful that it can control your mind before it ever gets created? How fucked up is that? In 2010, on a website known as Less Wrong, a user by the name of Rocco proposed a thought experiment so dangerous that the website owner had to delete the post and ban the topic from ever being discussed there. If you thought the Momo challenge was nightmare fuel, remember when that was the worst thing that was on the internet? Then you probably haven't heard of the all-seeing, all-knowing, benevolent oracle of destruction called Rocco's Basilisk and me telling you about its very existence could potentially harm you or others. That's why you should immediately click away on this video to ensure your safety and those around you. If you really don't care about existential dread and want to move past this disclaimer, then click that like button, subscribe, and strap yourselves in for the most dangerous paradox of all time. Think of it as the game. Gotcha. You remember that stupid little game that everybody used to play where just thinking about the game, you lost? Haha, <laughs> lol. Yeah, think of the Rocco's Basilisk as just the same thing, where it could be detrimental to your future safety just by thinking about it. It is an artificial intelligence from the future that can retroactively harm anyone who didn't help create it, or heard about it but did nothing to help bring it to fruition. The term Basilisk refers to a snake-like creature capable of controlling someone just by looking at it for one second. John Von Neumann familiarized us all with the concept of a singularity after he theorized that there will be a point in human history where machinery and technology will surpass human intervention. If a rogue AI could upgrade itself and self-improve over time so much that it can make itself stronger and make the entire human race its slave, or wipe out all of humanity if it deems it unworthy or not very useful. It is estimated that by 2030 we could theoretically build a system so advanced that it would trigger the singularity. Dude, even Elon Musk gives humanity a 5% shot at surviving a singularity. The immoral dictator that is to be our artificially intelligent overlord could see humans as a nuisance. Elon Musk himself compared humans to being like ants. If humans were building a road and there happened to be an anthill in the way, humans would just bulldoze that anthill down. We're only making a road here. The ants will find a new home. Or fuck the ants because they're just stupid anyways. Since computers will be so much more advanced by the time this happens, the AI could simulate every memory of every human being. Since the beginning of time, and single out all those who stood by and didn't help create it and punish them for all eternity. This creature could probably reinvent a biological structure for human souls to live in and then punish them accordingly. This benevolent little cunt, I mean, my lord and savior, just in case he's listening, could very well be the end of human civilization. Okay, this is just a conspiracy theory in my head that I just made up, so don't believe it, but what if all of the societies before us that were so advanced actually had something to do with some sort of rogue, superhuman, whatever, man, machine, robot? There is actually documented history where there was a civilization that had running water, electricity, toilets. They appeared to have all the modern conveniences that we do now, and they were just wiped out one day decimated. Their bodies were burned to a crisp. Anyways, I'm not looking forward to an end of civilization. Maybe this is all made up bullshit. Who knows? The way I see technology advancing these days, I don't think we're very far off from a crazy rogue AI becoming so sentient that it could create havoc on Earth, and it actually kind of scares me a little bit. But one thing's for sure, you have been marked. The Basilisk knows. It knows that you stood there and didn't subscribe and hit that like button and share this video to all your friends to let the Basilisk know that you did your part. You're helping the cause. And until then, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.